How's it going guys? This is Mark with At Tech. In this video, we're going to be answering the question of whether or not a graphics card makes a difference when it comes to encoding video. Now, if you don't care about anything else, the answer to the question is yes, absolutely it makes a difference. If that's all you care about, thanks for watching. If not, stick around, I will explain a little bit more. So first, let's define a couple of things and explain my story. So first off, what is encoding? How is it different from exporting? Stuff like that. So encoding is when you take a video from the camera and you convert it to a different file format. So for example, we're shooting on RED right now, an R3D raw file. I didn't take that in. I encode that into a GoPro Cineform mezzanine codec is what we use for editing. And we reattach the originals for exporting. So the process of converting it from a R3D file to a Cineform file is encoding. It's different from exporting because exporting is your chopped up, edited, color corrected final video. And in that case, it's a little bit different when it comes to graphics acceleration and it's actually more useful in this case. But when we talk about encoding, you don't think you really need a lot of graphics power, but it actually does make a difference. In the traditional sense of graphics acceleration, it's usually helped when exporting video that has special effects, transitions, or color correction. The graphics card can offload some of that power from the CPU, and it can do some of that visual effects to it that the CPU doesn't have to do. That's not something that are on straight raw video clips because there's no color correction right now. So my story first is that we bought a 2010 Mac Pro. It was a 12 core model, but it came with this graphics card right here, the NVIDIA GeForce GT120. It's a very old graphics card from 2010. And when we put some videos on that massive beast of a computer, it was super slow. It was actually slower than my 2012 Mac mini in a six minute video export with lots of color correction where a graphic acceleration would be useful. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to export. Then we threw in a graphics card like this one right here, and it took under 20 minutes. So pretty much an hour we saved by adding a graphics card. But that's not what we're here about. We're talking about encoding, not exporting, and it still does make a difference. So for my testing, I used 4K Sony footage. It's already highly compressed as it is. It's an MP4 file, but we do still convert that to Cineform for editing, mainly because we edit in 720p over our server and we reattach the 4K later on. So with this graphics card in the 12 core Mac Pro, it took about double real time to encode Sony 4K footage. So for example, if a clip was 30 seconds long, it took pretty much a minute to encode. If it's 15 seconds long, it took 30 seconds to encode. So we're about double real time with the GT120. So then I pulled out a GTX 1060 from my gaming computer, stuck that in the Mac Pro, which was still running High Sierra at the time. And I threw on those same clips and I wasn't really expecting anything, but wow, it actually did make a difference. We went from double real time to half real time. So again, that 30 second clip, which took a minute before, takes 15 seconds now. That is crazy and really awesome. One option that I noticed when I added in a more powerful graphics card is the options in Adobe Media Encoder. We use Adobe Suites here because we work off of a server, have multiple editors. And when we had this graphics card in the Mac Pro, the hardware acceleration option was grayed out. It was software only acceleration was the only option. We put in a newer graphics card like the 1060. It did enable us three different options. We could have done hardware acceleration through metal, OpenCL, or just software only. We did metal throughout all this testing, mainly because OpenCL was very comparable when it came to encoding. It's a little bit different story when it comes to exporting. We have a video about that, so check that out right up there. So with that new graphics card installed, we cut our encode time in one quarter. So I decided to actually get a graphics card that was metal supported on High Sierra. So I got this, the RX 580. This is a fairly cheap graphics card and it's pretty comparable to the 1060. This is actually a little bit slower than 1060. So I want to see if we get slower encode times or if it doesn't really matter the power of the graphics card, it's just whether you have a good one or not. And it actually does make a difference on the clock speed and performance of your graphics card. 
this is a little bit slower clocked and it did show it took just a couple seconds over half real time so again our 30 second example it was about one minute on this card 15 seconds on the 1060 and it was about 17 seconds on the rx 580. so clock speed does play a role in this the processing power does depend on how long it takes to encode your video the same story goes for pretty much all 4K footage that we tested. It was about double real time on this and then pretty much half real time on this. If you have an old unsupported graphics card, you're not going to be able to get any hardware acceleration performance out of your media encoder at all. It's just going to be software only. You don't have a dedicated graphics card reference only internal built in Intel graphics. It's not going to work very well. Once you do add a graphics card, performance goes up drastically. And then the more money you spend on a higher graphics card is only going to marginally increase your performance. I'm fine with 17 seconds compared to 15 seconds. And the price on this is about half the price of my 1060, surprisingly. So there you go. That is actually pretty great news for me. I was a little disappointed that my 12 core beast of a Mac Pro was slower than my Mac mini, but throwing in this graphics card made it the same speed, if not a little bit faster than my six core 2013 Mac Pro. So I'm pretty excited. Adding any type of graphics card will increase your performance and then higher clock speeds and higher performance on your graphics cards will also increase that speed even more. But that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you liked this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I will see you in the next one.